Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Holy shit, did I open up a can of worms here, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it through this one or not, but uh, we, uh, you know, I, I got this new lathe. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, I went to do some work with it, and uh, the thing was chattering like a champ. So, okay, let's check the Gibbs, and, uh, you know, Clausing has their own unique way of setting up Gibbs, and it took me uh, pretty much all morning to figure out where the Gibbs were, <laughs> and then to figure out how they adjusted, and, well, I eventually got it done, and, man, the thing's just cutting like, a, like butter. But the uh, the carriage wheel, which travels up and down the the bed, uh, was really loose. I mean, literally, I could turn it a half a turn before anything moved. And I'm thinking, well, okay, let's just have a look at the uh, at the uh, um, apron. So, you know, I messed around the next day, uh, uh, pulled the rods out, tried, you know, and again, uh, Clausing has their own unique way of doing it. <clears throat> pulled the apron out, which is this little unit right here, and opened up a can of worms. I mean, there must have been, well, there's uh, one, two, three, four five five things wrong and each one of them is super complicated so uh well actually more than five now that i think of it but anyhow a fair amount of things that are that need some attention and so uh i've gone in well let's bring in closer okay first in this series is this uh this gear is I mean the gear is okay but the bushing up inside of the gear is pretty loose let's have a look I think this oh no this is not it this might be it no nope, that's not it either anyhow it's pretty loose inside of the uh, the um, the uh, <laughs> bronze bushing so we got to replace the bushing that's one thing and we have to replace this replace this set of bushings because you can see this thing it just wobbles around like nobody's business so there's two this gear here which is a pretty critical gear because the uh, the handle attaches to this and you can see well actually the handles not too bad Well, that might actually be an okay thing. Let's have a look at the... It's worn, but not badly. Can you see it? I mean, it, it, it definitely has wear to it. But it might be something I can live with. Well, we'll put that, put that aside for now. Uh, I thought that the that the uh, wheel itself was pretty loose, but it's it's got yeah. I mean, it's a little bit loose, but I think with a little tightening up on the nut, this thing will be okay. All right. Well, that's one less. <laughs> so there's two. And we can get rid of that. <clears throat> this one is a mess. Let's look closely at that. And you can see that that thing is just, each point is just sharp as a razor. So there's a lot of slot between this and whatever this connect, connects up against. And I'm thinking that, you know, and it's just badly worn. It was like it never got um it never got oil on it or something oh this runs along the uh 
the bed itself so anyhow this needs to be replaced and uh, you know it just might behoove me I, I think that this uh, this diameter right here goes inside of here uh, let's bring you around so you can see that there we go this diameter goes inside of here and then goes here now look at that there is so much slop in that I can't believe it but it might just we might just be able to get away with coming in and boring this out you can see how badly that is moving around just boring that out and putting a sleeve in there so that could work out okay now the this part here definitely needs help but we might be able to uh, to just come in and braise the hell out of this and recut those those um, those gears so that could be what we do here it's entirely possible that we just remachine the whole damn thing but uh, we'll see how how it goes so that's that we've got a broken shaft right there so that's you know that's probably the easiest of all of them and we've got a uh, a bushing that needs to be replaced so that's another job I think this here that's that's in pretty good shape so less than I thought okay so that's uh, that makes it a little more uh, <laughs> a little more viable so question is where do we start do I start on the hardest part first or the easiest part first <laughs> all right let's start on the hardest part first and this would be uh, I'm thinking we can just braise this and recut it and that way we don't have to mess with any of this stuff here and then when we come in this part here is in and, and it's a little bit loose but not bad it's just that this part back in here is really loose so we put a bushing in there <clears throat> all right it's braised time okay first thing we need to do is take some measurements and we can come back on this one little section that wasn't worn and we can get our measurement from that so we've got one inch 216 thousandths okay and that's the teeth we know the teeth and I've got the cutter for it it's a uh, <clears throat> number 12 diametric pitch <clears throat> and everything else is in pretty good shape I mean you know this is got some really heavy wear marks on it but it still is functional so that's good good start now it looks like we got fairly clean metal but you know what I just want to go in and just rough that up a little bit <laughs> it's already pretty rough but just kind of clean that metal up just a little bit extra just so we make sure that we got a good bind 
bond. Okay, so uh, I got this little grinder the other day at uh, at a garage sale. This is like the old school grinder, aluminum body. Can you know? Can you get aluminum bodies anymore? I don't think so. It's a lower speed, but I, somehow it's more friendly for me. It's got a nice feel to it. Okay, let me get some glasses on. All right, let's get a final measurement of that inside diameter. And that's going to be 841 flutes. And how many flutes do we have? Um, We've got uh, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ha <laughs> ha, good. It's dividable. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so 12, which means that we can put it in the uh, in the rotary table and we don't have to do any compound stuff. So that's good. Put that down. Uh, 12 flutes. Okay. And I think we are ready to... Uh, Raise this. <laughs> Okay, we're all welded up or brazed up. Let's get it in a heat blanket here. Let it cool down slowly. We'll come back to that. Okay, in the meantime, while we're letting that piece, that other piece cool, we're going to uh, replace this whole piece here. Now, we've got about right there is our length. Is that correct? Pretty good. 
Now our first uh, diameter to take down <coughs> is the little screw head. And we are at uh, 625 thousandths. And 626, we can file the rest of that. Bet you that took care of it. 624 and a half. And we're not going for super accurate here. Now the next, uh, the next size down is our shoulder size or actually yes our shoulder size that goes through the casting and we are looking at 565 all right we can take oh yeah length <clears throat> and we are looking at nine twenty five. Okay, what was that? Five seventy five. 550560 So we are at 560 there's 10 there's 13 thousandths Okay, we're one thousandths above. No, a half. Okay, a little bit of file work, and I think we got it. bit more fire work.
That's it. A little low. That's about right. Alright, we're good. Now, that's to there. <laughs> We want to get this pretty squared up. That should do the trick right there. Okay, and our next diameter is this little smaller one here. And that one we go down to about a quarter inch. We are at 311 thousandths. We're going to run our carriage stop up against this, make it easy. All right, we are down to the wire here. And we are looking at 325 thousandths, and this is 312 thousandths. So we have 12 thousandths to go. All right, 312 on the money. So I'm going to draw this back and square up that edge there. That's good. Now our last piece is the threaded part. And the threaded part it looks like it's the same size. Yeah. Let's. Uh, um. Yeah, ten thousandths under. All right. Let's see what we got here. I'd say that's it. There. And let's go down ten thousandths. Okay, so we could go in and uh, use a, uh, you know, do a single point, but, you know, it's a standard 5 sixteenths thread. I don't think it's going to need a single point.
Let's get a little bit of go juice on that. And lock our back gear in. And we're just going to do this by hand. We don't have that far to go. And the key is is to keep the the chuck up against that face at least for the first three or four turns. And that should get us started. Not bad. Not bad at all. So now we've got uh, this edge. Oh, I'm feeling just a little bit of a burr there. Let's go ahead and knock that burr off. Yep. And this is good. So now we need to put it in the saw and cut this off and then flip it over and come in and machine it. Okay, uh, we saw that off. Now we just want to come in and square it up and get rid of that larger diameter. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright, we got that sucker done. There's one more thing to do. We need to put a screwdriver slot in here and I'm assuming that's so we can screw it into the the pocket. Okay, well when I took this apart this little uh, arm was laying in the bottom and this part was broken and I just you know I couldn't figure out what the hell that did and uh, what it does is I don't know if you can see inside of there but there's a little flat on our engagement for the uh, let's get that up there the engagement for um, the threading and in order for that to work this has to be disengaged and this little arm uh, kind of keeps everybody in check. <laughs> 